Hey farmers, welcome back to Cherry Tree Farm. Okay, let's get straight into it. I'm loving these new spooky decorations for Halloween season. I definitely think we need a little tour of what's available now for Halloween. Oh, I think they're really cool, but let's just quickly, before we even start, let us quickly harvest. This is my favorite activity in the mornings to get all that XP. Yes, look at all those stars. Let's quickly check out our boat arrived in the night. We can definitely have some more coffee beans so that we can fill our boat order. That's a super easy one. We're going to have it finished. I have quite a few um, fancy cakes from my last Tom order that we can definitely fill out. These are kind of easy to make if you just have a ton of cream cakes, to be honest. Um, oh, we're going to definitely need some help with the feta pie. Did I make any? I made one. Let's see if we can make another one. Oh, we need more feta. Did we make some? Yes, we did. Talking about feta, I know we actually have a tom. So let's quickly see what we're going to make. Let's see what we have really low of. Honestly, I think honey cake is really easy to make. Maybe chocolate cake because it takes so long. I was actually thinking maybe pillows would be a fun one just because cloth and feathers are quite difficult to get. So let's um, get a pillow. Awesome. Let us go back to our boat. So I'm going to put three helps up for that just because it's going to take a little bit long. I will make feta pie while I'm waiting just because I have some feta already. I'm also going to check if I can put a soup on. Right now I'm just having so many tomato soups come through. So we can make one tomato soup. Any other soup I can make? Hmm, we need some fish. Let's go and check out our fish. Yeah, fishy fishies. Awesome. Let us put our two lobster traps, our two duck traps, and our one fishing net. I can't believe it's not here. I'm to expand that. Let us very put some colors and then do another mm, save these just because they're pretty low i use them all for that oh fun what are today's sunshines okay producing fish loose pumping cotton and feeding chicken super easy i anyway want to be feeding chickens let's go and see what's available oh yay feathers very cool okay we've got no lobsters in so let's just quickly replace all of those We'll put another lobster trap down and then let me put the duck traps. Oh, actually, I have another lobster trap. So I'm going to put that down as well. For the duck trap, yay for lobster! Let us throw one fishing down and then, okay, oh, great, there's another duck. Let's use our green lure and see what we can get. Uh, it looks pretty general, but that's okay. And a little bit of resistance. It's just a, like a general shadow bass. That's fine. Is there any more spaces? No. Okay, cool. Let us go back to see what we need. Maybe we can get that from Tom. Okay, Tom, do you have the pillows for us? Yes. Let's get nine of those. And let's spin the wheel of fortune and see what we get today. Come on, come on. Something good, something good. Oh man, one will, luckily we've got another free spinning pause, maybe we can get something better. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's pretty cute. I love that three cool piece. I really like that. Okay, not too bad. While we, oh yay, Tom's here. Let's go. Oh, barn is full. What's new? Let's sell something off. Oh, got lots of nails, lots of lobster. Oh, okay. When I don't really have something to... Oh, did you see that? The eyes by the mine. That looks really... Oh, there we go. So I think that must be part of the, the Halloween. I think that's such a cool addition. I love the little details they go through. Um, so when I have a full barn, but I really have to get rid of something, but I don't, I don't necessarily want to get rid of something, I do quite a lot of mining and just let it stack up. And that way I can still get rid of items, but then I get something in return. So when my barn does start um, emptying out again, I can just come and collect all of that. So let's see if we can put something down. Remember, we're busy collecting silver, iron, and fine coal. Silver is the lowest at the moment, so we're going to be putting silver down. Okay, there's another iron and a refined coal. 
Maybe we can it a little bit more. And then we can put some down to get the bonds full. And then our fine coal. Mm. No, okay, we're gonna have to stick with the fine coal, which we kind of have the most of already, so that's kind of awkward. So let me see if I can maybe do some gold. There we go. Let's see if we can get that pillow. Nice. Okay, let's explore some of the other spooky decorations. Um, so let us decorate our let's let's dress up the um the cow. So I already got this hat from the the farm pass, which I thought was really cute. But let's use a seasonal deco item for the cows. I think this little witch outfit is so cute. I love the little scarf with the little stripes with the witch's hat. So let's decorate all of our cows to look like that. Let's dress them up. The, the little Thanksgiving hat, um, we can probably change that into them maybe in the next month coming up after Halloween. Here we go, cows all dressed up. Let's look at some other spooky decorations. I really love the the, the jack-o'-lanterns in the trees. I think it gives a nice spooky effect with the autumn leaves. I just love the extra effort that they really go into to make it um, the, just the experience more immersive and beautiful. Okay, so you can see when I got the farm pass, I already put this little bat hat on the pigs, but let's try out the seasonal mummy outfit. Uh, I th honestly, I think this is my favorite one besides the sheep outfit. <laughs> I think it's just really cute. The, the pigs are a little bit goofy for me, so this is what I think that the um, pigs would be dressed up as. Uh, I don't think they're going to look that good with the um, window full. Uh, still works, uh, it just it freaks me out, uh, barns full. It freaks me out when the goats and the pigs are actually full and they need to be milked um, or harvested, um, just because they look so uncomfortable. Oh, the Dracula outfit, I think this is perfect for the goats, it fits them 100%, they've got that very like sleek look. Um, so our little um, vampire goats, um, I think it matches them perfectly. And let's put that up. I actually just want to see what the what the bat hat. Okay, no, that looks really weird. Even though they've got long ears, it just doesn't work. Awesome. There we go. And now for my favorite, I think this is probably the best outfit. Um, it's probably one of my favorites. Is the ghost? I just love that they become invisible. Honestly, I think it could have been great even just with the hat and with the um, ball and chain. But I think the the see-through effect is honestly phenomenal. It's hands down my favorite um, outfit of the season and probably one of my favorites the entire year. Awesome. Let's put it down. Last one, best one. There we go. All of a sudden, everyone is ready. Oh no, chickens. How could I forget the chickens? They carry their sailor's hat on, and mostly just because they're close to the water in the boat. Um, that's my favorite decoration for them. Oh, okay. I also think this is pretty cute. I love that they're walking around in a pumpkin. They're also right next to the other um, pumpkins here at the patch. Um, I just love those little details. Okay, let's just quickly put the outfits on for the last chickens. Uh, on the one hand, the chickens are also like I know like the the pigs are pretty goofy for me, but I just love how I just feel like the chickens have a personality. So everyone is decked out really nicely. I know some of the other really nice Halloween decorations are actually on the houses that are available. So here we have my house already. Um, I love the wrap around balconies, the chair base, and the brown roof. We've got a Halloween roof over here. It's more like a cabin style um, walls. Oh, I just noticed with the walls, you can actually see that really cool spider's uh, web in the roof. Let's see around. Yeah, I don't know, like maybe it's not the most Halloween-y. Like it just feels like a really like outdoors woodsy cabin. Um, it's like definitely one of those that you'll see like out in the woods somewhere. And let's see with a truck. So I just have a very cheery truck. I love the red truck. So I haven't changed it yet. I honestly, I do like this green. I think if this was a new version of the green, I would totally change my truck. But I love the little cobwebs. Um, obviously the ice truck back um, with the, like, the canvas at the top. And to this, I really like these wheels. I think I think the only thing that makes them Halloween-y is that maybe those are skeleton wheels. I don't know. They actually look pretty nice to me. Um, and let's have a look at the stall. 
Okay, this definitely matches the roof from the house. Very, very similar. You also have the crows on there, so I love the continuation. I think there's a little bit of the blue in the store that matches this the painting from the truck, which I which I like very much. And then you have the um, the surrounding, which is just more crows and a pot plant that died. And it's definitely not my favorite. Like I I love Halloween and all the dress up costumes, but this really just like looks, looks like a scary um, a stop. But I love the crows. That little feature is really really great. So great job heyday on that and we also have the nice farm pass and at the moment we've got all the beautiful deco items that have been coming out so nothing here near the front we have that that the hat the the bat shower cap that we've already seen i think we still have some more items coming let's see yes this this is more um like a skullsy display with some candles really cool and then we have some chickens in the rain obviously it's a little bit colder and a little witch cauldron which i like it's very beautiful oh, can't wait to get all of this xp as you know we are just trying to up the xp always talking about xp i saw this one this morning thousand xp let's send it off so great let's see what our mm, definitely not <laughs> i'm not going to be getting any of those uh, Mm, I'm just gonna give it. Let's see if we can make some more. Awesome! What you guys always get? Let's let that. Let's put some more. Um, some more white sugar on. Maybe one syrup, a few brown sugars, and another syrup. Syrup, white sugar. Great. Nice. Let's see that XP come. That's really nice. Anytime I see 800 XP or more, I'm I'm basically will do anything to get it. Mm, this is also pretty good. I'm gonna send that off. What do we need for the 700 XP? Oh, so easy. Let's get a uh, butter. Okay, we got maybe one or two little milks. Let's see what we need. Definitely gonna put some butter and some cream. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we can definitely get that 700. Thanks. Awesome, let's send that one off. Mm, pretty, pretty low. The eggs, oh, I'm not going to waste my time with that. Oh, that's really cool. 840 and yes, we have a candle. Amazing. I actually have a lot to collect, but I know our barn is full. Let's get the honey while we're waiting. Okay, we got one beeswax, one honey. I feel like we can do one of each just because we need that. Oh, there we go. Let's send that 840 off. Anything. Okay, that's still pretty good. While we're here, let's hold this one of the pumpkins and see what happens. But they're just really cool. They jump in the air. Let's get a, a big ah. Let's get a big XP haul. One of my favorites, as you know. Let us harvest. Yes. Oh, that's my favorite. Let's get the strawberry and let's quickly plant a few. Oh, we definitely need more soybeans. Cannot run out of that. A little bit more sugarcane. See tomatoes, let's plant that. What do we plant again to get sun? Is it cotton? Yes, it's cotton. Okay, time to plant some cotton. I'm probably gonna regret that later just because um, I can't plant more. Everything else is pretty good. So I'm just gonna plant a little bit more wheat to get the next minute or so. Um, and then let's plant something that's for an hour, just so we can, oh, half an hour. There we go, so we can get some nice XP. Great. Nice. Um, I'm going to do... Oh no, I can't do the silver balls just because I need that for my express truck. I mean, train. While we're waiting, let's see. Oh, thank you. That's really nice. Um, I'm going to ask for another help. Let's see, maybe in the meantime, if that finishes before someone else gives help, I will accept it. Oh yay! Very cool. We're going to get more letters. Great! We got a nice level threshold. We're really driving really through. We actually just recently leveled up and we've already got to the first threshold. So I think we're going to be getting to level 56 definitely in the next day or two. What are we getting? Oh, sushi bar. That's flipping cool. And rice, of course. We can make some cool sushi. And diamonds are also a good plus. Oh yeah, this is probably my favorite full decoration that I've gotten thus far. It's this beautiful, beautiful fountain. I think it is so, so cute. Um, I love the little falling leaves. 
what I think I'm going to do when I do the redecoration of the farm and I redesign it, I'm going to do a beautiful maze here on the side where we have these fields. And then I'm going to put a seasonal decoration at the center of the maze. Um, and then depending on what season it is, whether it's spring or autumn or Christmas or Halloween, I'll put something in the center and definitely this fountain needs to be at the center. Let's send off one more track order. Let's go. That's a good XP. Okay, great guys. Thank you so much for joining me on my Let's Play. It was really great to do a review of all the Halloween decorations. Um, obviously, there's loads of leaves everywhere. We also have the cloudiness across the skies, as you can see. To be honest, this isn't my favorite just because sometimes it makes it difficult to see like what is available and um, it just looks a little bit blurry, but I think it adds to the aesthetic along with the beautiful fall leaves and the Halloween decorations throughout. My animals obviously fully dressed up. Love the look that they have. Thank you for joining me. Have a happy day for me.